Hello. Hi. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for coming. This has been fun. Yeah, thanks, Alex. Thanks this is way out. more fun than playing online. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Alex, <laughs> you got a real shrink. A real shrink. I'm Shrinko. You're a, sh a shrink? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He used a shrink. Uh oh. He used a shrink before he shrinks. So, so what, is, what does my chest say about me as a person? Well, I think you're intelligent, assertive, and you have poise Good. and confidence. Wow. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm not used to being what? buttered up. I'm used to being trash talked, so we're gonna have to change this. I might do some trash talking, but you 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 do show that in your game. It's you integrity in the way you play. Good. Well, and you're much stronger. Than uh, I am. Okay. Good luck. And is it okay if I ask you strange questions? Please, ask me questions. I was curious about, I saw the video with your dad. Are, are you, what is your ethnic background? Romania. I'm from Romania. Oh, Romania. Okay, yeah. but Botez is a Romanian name? Yeah, it's actually very common. It means baptized. Oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Someone had to be from Romania. I thought you might have been from Spain because you, because of, is that where the video, didn't you have a video in Spain? I did, we were in Barcelona, and Botez does sound Spanish, so a lot of people confuse yes, it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, that makes How sense. How long have you been a shrink for? Over 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do you ever so, take work home with you? Is it ever so intense? Um, I'm not the most sensitive shrink. Okay. So I try uh -oh. not to, but I do deal with it. Uh, I did not, but... Yeah. No, she doesn't. Ignore the, the, <laughs> the gallery here. I just imagine if you're listening to people's sob stories all day, or not sob stories, their actual experiences, it could get tough. It can, it can. Yeah. yeah. Life is hard for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> if only people knew. And I, oh. and I deal with some oh, celebrity clients, and so they they want to make sure they stay in touch with what's real. Do celebrities have different problems than your non-celebrity clients? You know, I think in the end it's... People are people, mm -hmm. so I think it's not so different. Um, my only hope is for a draw, by the way. I'm just trying to reduce sound. Well, now that I know you want to draw, yes. I know you're afraid. I said that so you would think that I wanted to draw. I mean, okay. I, and I'm not trying to be manipulative. That's not that's not what psych, that's not what psychologists uh -oh. do. No, no. Uh oh. All right, let's bring more pawns in the center. Ooh. If I see any more pawns in that center. What about after COVID? Did you see a lot of people who are facing isolation issues or anything like that? That's a really good question. Yes, I did. And, and a lot of it was by video. And now it's just sort of started filtering back to live. Okay. And that changes the dynamic a little bit. So do people ask you like about your relationship with your mother or your father? Or I haven't it? gotten those questions, but I, I'm open to it. How's your relationship with your mother? Um, my mom and I are very close. Same with me and my dad. Mm -hmm. I think we have a very good family relationship. Yeah, you're obviously uh, have a very active, open relationship with your sister. Yep. You've done a lot for the chess community, so thank you for that. That's very nice of you to say. Hmm. My goal is to get you under two minutes and thirty seconds and not have totally lost. So that's a good goal. I mean, although I, you need a little bit more confidence. You know, yeah. confidence is the first thing. If you don't think you can win, you never will. Ooh. Oh, I feel like I'm learning. That's the most profound. Are you familiar with sandbagging? Um, <laughs> that's the most profound. No sandbagging. <laughs> It could have been prophetic. I remember when I was a kid, and my dad would always warn me of the sandbaggers in the Vegas tournaments because I'd play against someone and they would have lost like 150 rating oh, really? points. Yeah, because they were trying to go there for the money. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah. So then I would be yeah. very intimidated yeah, right of sandbaggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so were your parents Kai's born in Vegas, yeah. Romania? Or yeah, they, they were born in Romania. So your first yeah. generation? Yes, yes. Oh, they must my, be there. The same year my parents moved to the U.S., I was born. Okay. It's a mix of both. So do you speak Romanian? I do, yeah. Wow, that's impressive. I mean, because my parents didn't really speak much English when I was a kid, so right. it was a lot easier for me to pick it up than my sister, because with my sister, they mostly spoke English. But she still understands it. She tries. Yeah. She has a funny accent. I have a funny accent, too. 
like doing that. All right. Hmm. Hmm. What are we gonna do? Okay, I'll take. I'm just trying to hang on. Stay alive. Survive, baby, survive. I think you're very open too. I can see that. Some people, when I even like chess, chess influencers, you can see that they're kind of defensive. Uh, I defended up on the board. Yeah, you know? they. Like Dragon Ball Z style. I mean, as a psychologist, somebody says that you have to, you know, you, you have to of, wonder. You have to wonder, and and uh, Eric was really nice, but he he didn't want to talk about stuff. But that was totally fine. No, I am very open, and our family is in a lot of streams, so. Yeah. Romanians are very hot-blooded, you know, they explode on each other, but then they make up and they love each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's like many of the clips of me yelling at Andrea for taking my things. I have a Romanian client, actually. There was a, a movie from the early 90s about this Italian... This is my move, huh? I should do this on Who's distracting who? Right. No, you're out. You're definitely out playing the psychological. Il Postino. Il Postino. No, no. Il Postino's Italian. But this was a about a guy who goes to. Uh, he goes to. Let's see. I better concentrate if I'm going to make it to my. You know. So curious what this. You're up on time so far. Interesting. What's, what about your yeah, pawn structure? I should not have done that. I don't know about this one. You distracted me. It was all going well until you hurt your pawn structure a little bit. Yes, correct. Right. Why did I do that? That was terrible. And now I have some annoying threats. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're gonna come in the inn with the... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna come here. Tactics! My dad taught me tactics too, so... Oh, I see your tactics. Uh oh. That was a great win against Eric Rosen on Icelandic TV, by the way. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. I was happy to get one off. <laughs> Oh, this is terrible. One mistake and the game collapses. That's what's happening here. Yes. Right. Okay, I will grab this. Oh, that's a second mistake. Oh no. Oh no. And I said all these nice things about you, but they were true. They were true. It's okay, we can talk over it in therapy. <laughs> and the best thing is I don't have to take your rook yet. No. I can just keep taking things. Oh, it's all pretty grim. Let's... no. Okay, I'm not even going to take your rook. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah. It was very nice to meet you. It was lovely appreciate meeting it. you. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it too. Hey guys, Brian here and a great game between Alex and Shrinko and it's not easy to talk and play chess at the same time. You can either be trash talking or having a conversation. It's not as easy as it looks and it all came down to this one move and they both saw it. They both recognized that was going to be the problem and up until then pretty even so just you know, instead of rook f4, maybe um, just rook takes. This could be one line to go and grab that open file, and the game is dead even at negative 0.4. But that was pretty much it, man. But Shrinko played a great game. He's got to give himself a little bit more credit than he deserves. Maybe he was playing that old sandbagging routine. Who knows? But um, but he handled it well, and Alex did great job. You know, great chess player. Closes the game out when they 
have that advantage. So that was beautifully done. And just great conversation by both about the whole, she was asking about the celebrities and he was saying like, you know, people are people, everyone has issues. And I think that's something to remember in this day and age of social media where everyone pretends like their life is great, but we're all dealing with something. And, and that's, I think that's an important thing to keep in mind. And also loved how Alex said that she loved playing that, you know, playing in real life was way, way more fun than playing online. I think there's something to that too. That's, that's something, um, I think is easy to forget when everything is so digital and online nowadays, you know, there is merit and value in meeting in real life and, um, socializing that way as well. So just thought I want to point that out. Nicely done, Alex. Great fight, Shrinko. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you thought the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with the notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.